All right, uh, here we are for part number two of my playthrough. Uh, I'm sorry about the audio in the last part. I know it was a bit quiet, couldn't hear me that well. Um, I'm still messing around with the settings, trying to get it quite perfect. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I don't think I've gotten it there yet, but uh, this will probably be, be probably be better than last time. So if it's bad, still I'm sorry. Um, so we left off in the hallway safe room, uh, or save room, I should say. All right, let's get started. Fight your fears and survive. I love this. I love that they added this. All right, so we're back here. Uh, let's see what we got. I love how lazily he opens that, it looks like, anyway. Alright, so we got our herbs, our key, ink ribbon, which I can put in here, because I'm not going to use that for a little bit. Uh, and I've got the old key. Last part I found the wooden mount, and then there was the dog whistle. Which I guess I could go back and grab right quick. But I can't remember where to use all that stuff. So we're just gonna, I don't know, reckless abandon. I'll go ahead and throw the old key in there, just in case I need to pick up more. Uh, I'm not sure that I would, but in Resident Evil, it's better to be safe than sorry, so. Uh, Definitely gonna keep the key on me. And I'll keep the green herb just in case, so that should do it. It's probably gonna be a door right outside of here where I need to use that old key. Alright, so I didn't clear this out last time, so I know there's dudes still running around. That's right, I didn't come through that one. Oh wait, yes I did. But you can't go back through, I remember now. Man, it's been a while since I've played this. Armor. Okay, now this is where I was. And then I came through here. Yeah, okay. I came through this door and ran around. I remember now. Oh shit. Some pissed off zombies. <clears throat> See if I can't lure him over. Oh, I never noticed that before. I think Chris aims differently when he's hurt. That's cool. Get out of here, zombie. Uh, are you kidding me? Wow. Oh, this is going bad already. Jesus. Sorry, guys. trying to get my bearings again. I'm sorry. Here we go. This is the room I was looking for. I didn't even have to go all the way down there and get bitten. Jesus. But it's more fun for you to watch, right? Me get bitten and almost killed. Yes, I'll take the stupid dog whistle. A crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. 
and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means you can only put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants is hidden wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get a hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. John Tolman. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, let's take a look at it right quick. Let's examine it. It is very dirty. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything to actually see on I just wanted to look at it. Um, by blowing into it, it generates frequencies only audible to the ears of dogs. You can call a dog with this whistle. Alright, so if I remember correctly, I have to go out, I think it's on the balcony outside, and uh, at some point uh, I will be using that to lure a dog, which has, as you saw, an obvious item that's hidden uh, in the dog's collar. can't remember exactly what it is, though. I'm just... Oh, I didn't see this before. Cool. That'll make up for all the ammo I lost, I guess. Ended in a checkmate. Um, so yeah, there's some type of item you get from using that, but I can't remember what it is. I, n I think it's regression related, obviously, though. Okay, so onward. I really need to clear this area out when I get a chance. Shit. I may have missed my chance. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and... Let's see. We're going to... See, I can't remember what the wooden mount is used for. If I remember correctly, you press something into the pages, but I don't remember what exactly it is. And it does I don't feel like you use it t too soon, but I could be completely wrong. So for now, I'm just going to grab the old key and deposit the dog whistle. Well, wait a second. Let's look at the map first. Let's see if I can find out where I'm going next. Alright, so... All the red doors are locked, obviously. Let's see, is there a way to get... Yeah, D-pad. Uh, let's see. Mansion 2 floor. There's a door I missed that's unlocked? Really? Oh, okay, I see. This is from... Okay, that's the dining room down there. And then I... That's the locked area. Right, right, okay. Apparently there's a door. Oh, I guess now because I have the key, it will show that I can open it. I probably couldn't have opened it before. That makes sense. Okay, so if I exit this room... And go down, I can go through that area as well. Which goes through, if I'm not mistaken, that's the shotgun room over there. Because I recognize the bathroom. I don't know if the shotgun is still in Chris's area, though. But I see the bathroom. I see what I think is the room that collapses. Uh, I don't remember anything else. Okay. Alright. We're just going to go with reckless abandon and hope that I'm correct in the way that I'm going. So, before I go, 
I'll bring one more important item with me just in case. Because that doesn't look like I'm going to be going outside, so I'll just bring the wooden mount just in case I might need it. You can never be too sure. Probably should have grabbed my F8 spray too, but oh well. Ready to fall apart. Go through anyway. Ooh, this is a trick. Uh, yeah, might as well. Okay, where the hell am I now? Nothing on the shelf. Okay, so according to this, this is locked. Yep. Spencer family emblem is carved into it. Oh, hello. Let's see, what's this? We'll explore this before we deal with that. Wow, it sounded like somebody busted through that. Nothing? Okay, just a weird... Okay, what is this? Ah, yes, this is the room that collapses. So, there's a knife and some ink ribbon in here, I think. Yeah, I see the ink ribbon. And then the shotgun, obviously. Uh... Yep, and that causes it to collapse, and I don't remember if... if Chris gets saved or not. So, I'll probably die. Which will be good, I guess. I don't think Chris gets saved, so I'm probably gonna die here. Let's see. Oops. Yeah, the fact that you can go back through here. Makes me think that there's no way I can take this out of here. Alright, because now it won't budge. So I would need something heavy to put up here. Nope. Not necessary to use it now. I don't want to equip it, but... Um, this sucks, because I don't remember... I thought I could just put it back. Oh, I think maybe I have to look at it. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn it, Jill. Why does yours have to be so easy? Alright. <clears throat> well, I can't go back the way I came, I just realized, so now my inventory is full. Unless I can get rid of the mount. So that also sucks. Alright then. Let me just wander through here, I guess, for a minute. See if I can't find anything of use or interesting that I can't pick up. Whoa, what the heck? Camera angles are being crazy. Okay. There we go. Here's a zombie in a tub. I remember that much. Uh, I don't. Actually, he does drop something, but I can't remember what it is. Uh, might as well use the knife. I know that anyone watching this is like, oh, you're doing so bad right now. I know. I'm aware. Hey, look at that guy. He's got cool ass hair. What are you doing, Chris? Just either punch it or shoot it. I mean, you're good to go, man. Old key. See you later, buddy. His face 
looked a little silly right there whenever he was just staring at it. Oh, Chris. This obviously... Oh, yeah, I can't open it. Okay, what do we got? Oh, this is outside. And there are dogs. Great. Oh, but hey, there's herbs. But my inventory is full because I can't carry anymore. Ah, it's just screw me. Alright, let's take a look at the map. So I can get back here, it looks like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can or not. I mean, I can. That's some point. Probably get back here, but I don't know if I'll be able to immediately get back here. Sorry about my cat. He's being a little agitated this morning. Alright, so... Oh, hi. Oh, jeez. Well, that sucks. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, shit. Well, fuck me. I'm gonna try and collect some ammo, but fuck that, I'm out. Jesus. I'm doing so bad so far. That's alright, that's what we all came here to see, right? Oh, okay, it's this room. Oh, jeez. Critically wounded two times in the episode. Yeah, such a pro. Alright. So how can I get back to my little safe area? Typewriter, item box... <clears throat> oh, I think I could go back, but the door has limited uses, if I remember right. That's what it is. Oh, man. Okay. So where can I get to that area? Oh man. I know I'm not remembering anything right, guys, and I apologize. Alright, uh I think I think I can get there from over here. I go up the stairs and go around that one way that had the locked door. But I guess we'll find out. Well, since I already have an ink ribbon, I might as well grab this too. Carry it with me so I can deposit it later if I ever make it back to that safe room. I still have that gem laying on the floor too. Which I haven't found a use for yet. Which I would pick up if I had the inventory space. You know, I'm surprised that Kenneth never turns. At least I don't think he does. Oh, that's a good noise. That's... That's a great noise. Oh, those are the crows, aren't they? The zombie crows? Jesus. Those sound sinister. I don't remember that. My goodness. So it looks like I can just straight shot across. Oh, there's an herb, but I can't pick it up. Again. Good on me. I mean, I chose this for myself. I chose to make my life hard. Okay, no, this is the stupid puzzle. Oh, man. And there's no way out of here either. No. Not unless you have this key. And whoever takes this emblem find peace and death. Yeah, and I can't even carry anymore, so it doesn't matter. So I'm actually sort of hoping I die now, but so that I can start back and correct myself. Um I don't know, that's that's how you do this game though. You 
Live, die, and then learn. Um. Oh, that is such a horrible noise. Oh, I see him up there. I hadn't seen him before when I came through. Uh, but I'm going to go through this playthrough just taking it with stride. Like, if I get messed up, I'll take it. If I die, you'll see me starting over, which could be boring. But, hey, I'll do it. Uh, looks like that leads to the basement. I'll come back here later. Oh man, I just saw the uh, pain on Chris's face. That's a nice detail. I didn't expect that to be there. I don't even remember that. That's awesome. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to find a shortcut, but it doesn't look like there's going to be one anytime soon, so... Uh, I'll probably end up dying, but you know, that's fine. Chris doesn't deserve to live. That guy's still laying down there. Did I seriously clear this area out? I don't, I don't remember doing that. Okay. So that shortcut's through. Okay. Oh, what's up, buddy? Can't remember, doesn't he just continuously do that? And then I think this is the safest route back there, if I'm not mistaken, because if you go through there, you're right behind the guy. And without a knife, there'd be no way to avoid him without dying in my current state, so... Which I might just end up dying here, unless this guy down here truly is dead. Oh, looks like he might be. Okay. Let's go ahead and get in here. Deposit... Uh, all the stuff that I don't need. Uh, I don't even remember where you use this old key again. Just, man. All kinds of bad stuff happening to me right now. I'm gonna bring this with me just in case. Actually, let me look at my status. I might just need to use it now. I'm caution. I could take one more hit. Alright, I'll deposit the old key and. We'll see what we can do. Alright. Um, not gonna save. No reason to right now. Especially if I end up dying. I'll just do what I did better. Alright. So, let's look at the map. Alright. So apparently if I go down through the door, make a right, when I come out, and on the left I can get up through there, but there's a locked door there, so there would be no reason right now, I don't think, unless I use this, which seems like the area that I remember using it in, now that I think about it, but I don't know. I'll give it a shot even though this doorknob is ready to fall apart. I'm stupid for not exploring that earlier, but I think it was because of this guy, yeah. Uh, I didn't come back. Zombie dog out here? Yep. 
written in the indentation, the defiler of the accursed coffin. Oh boy. Nope, not necessary to use it. Ah, shit. Fucking dog, man. Alright, so now we know that that's there. And they're completely out of healing items. Low on ammo. Doing great so far. That's locked. I don't think I can open it either. Nope. And then there's this guy, which apparently I didn't kill. I'm just gonna go through and reset him. Jeez. If I end up making no progress in the in this part, I'm sorry. Oh hell, are you kidding me? Let go of me. Jesus. completely wasted all of the time. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Alright. Alright. Locked. Emblem of armor. What the hell is that? Okay. Alright. Well, that's encouraging. And then I hear a zombie step. Or was it Chris? I think it was Chris, maybe. Yeah, okay. Unlit fireplace. Oh! I remember completely now. We have to use it on this thing right here. The wooden mount. But we need a way to light it first. And that's... Wow, that's why the flask is there with the oil outside, if I remember right. Ah, jeez. Well, at least I know what to do now, I guess. Emblem of a helmet. Alright. Okay, now I completely understand what I'm doing. At least more than I did before. I kill this? Oh, no, didn't. Jesus. Oh, fuck off, man. Okay. Next round through here, I need to clear these guys out. Like, seriously bad. I thought I had killed them, though. But no. I just made them fall down. Alright, is there... I'm assuming there's no oil in this, right? Oh no, there is. Still plenty of kerosene. But wait, I have no way to ignite it. So maybe that is not the solution. Shit. So I need to find a match or a lighter of some kind. Ah, hell. That sucks. <sighs> At least, I think so. I don't know for certain, but, um, yeah, I don't know, I can't remember, oh boy, wait, why did I go through here, I need to fill that up, if I'm going to attempt that, stupid, ugh, Alright, well, I am running a little bit out of time, so uh, I'm going to try this out right quick, and if it doesn't work, which I don't think it will, then I will quit and we'll come back and do this again, only much better, hopefully.
keep thinking that guy's gonna get up, crimson head style. I don't remember what exactly that is. I think it's a map that you get. But, uh, I don't know. Let's try it. Not necessary to use this now. Yeah, I figured as much. Try one more time. Nope. Yeah, so. Oh, what the fuck? I have a lighter. What the fuck am I doing? Wow. So dumb. Awesome. Wasting ammo for no reason. Alright. And then you put that there and it burns it onto the paper. There's a map of Mansion 2 floor. Yeah, okay. Man. That was dumb. That was really stupid of me. I forgot I had even gotten the lighter. And if I'm not mistaken, someone said in a cutscene, here, have this lighter. Or something. I thought. Maybe not, but still, a little stupid. Okay. So, this is all you get from this, I think, is just the map. Yeah, it doesn't look like you get anything else. Unless there's a hidden item somewhere. Dark forest stretches out as far as your eye can see. There don't seem to be any houses in the area. Yeah, I imagine this is a private estate, Chris. Picture of a partly built mansion. Looks an awful lot like the one you're in now. Yeah, I figured. That's still locked, obviously. Nothing I can interact with. Nope. Okay. Hooray for overthinking things. Alright. Uh, I'm running out of time. Uh... So I'm going to go ahead and end this here, and I don't know yet if I'm going to play through the section in the next recording, or if I'm going to just, uh, or if I'll uh, start recording when I get back, or what. I'll let you guys know in the next part. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save in a separate slot just so I can keep my memory up with what's going on. And that guy is still not dead? Jeez. What an idiot. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and save in a separate slot just in case I need to reference what's going on uh, so I can remember. Because I'm sure I'll forget something and something bad will happen. Um... And who knows, maybe I'll even start from this part again and just go with, you know, just with all of my uh, failures intact. That way I have nothing. Alright. I will see you all later in the next part. Thanks for watching. It was fun.